Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And today, Sagittarius, we have a very awesome reading. This is a very romantic reading. And we start with Open Your Heart and the Feminine Twin. <coughs> so Open Your Heart is Set Loving Boundaries. Yeah, very interesting. We see Set Loving Boundaries. Uh, that can talk about commitment. It can. Uh, it can also talk about just treating somebody really well uh, and kind of a formal, there's a formality to it, could. And we have the feminine twin activating the higher self. Okay, wow. So, uh, you know, this could be a feminine twin flame energy. It definitely could be. And we have uh, with activating the higher self, a very interesting, we know what activating that is, really stepping into your power and stepping into trusting uh, your source, trusting your divinity. Let's see what else we have. And we have the karmic relationship releasing the past. All right. So we see these two people here, and this is about releasing the past. Uh, maybe it was difficult with somebody here because it looks like open your heart to something, release the past and activate your higher self, right? And once you activate your higher self, you just feel, you don't feel stuck anymore. You feel more flowy. You feel like everything, like a, a burden is, had been lifted that you didn't know was there because now you're feeling so much lighter. Yeah, it's very cool and very interesting. Let's see what we have. And we have the hummingbird turn away from infidelity so that love may blossom. Okay, uh, these cards, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And so this came out in the reverse. It's kind of interesting. They don't read in the reverse. No, they don't. Uh, but you know, in the reverse, turn away from infidelity so that love may blossom. It's possible there was a third party here and somebody's now releasing that. So, so they can be in love so they can love you. So, uh, so you guys can, uh, go kind of, you know, get going here in a relationship for it. That's really what it looks like here. Uh, the infidelity. Wow. It looks like turn away from third party or turn away from cheating. So uh, maybe there was a block here because somebody was cheating and once they stopped doing that or they released somebody else possibly, maybe a karmic over here, uh, now love can blossom. There's some type of gateway that's being opened here and something is released, right? This is uh, what these cycles are about in life, right? They're about release you know now we have a new cycle they really are and uh in astrology as well when we see the squares life is about tension building and then uh something has to break or something ends in order to begin a new cycle it's all really life is is cycles that's what the astrology teaches us right we have the deer and take note of the messages in whispers and secrets adrift on the breeze Mm hmm. Very interesting here. I feel like somebody doesn't want to keep you as the secret anymore for some of you, because this is turn away from infidelity reversed. And this is take note of the messages in whispers and secrets that are adrift on the breeze, but it's re it was reversed. So, uh, maybe you were a secret Sagittarius and we have the wild horse and we're going to put these in the reverse like they were. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. And so the horse, the horse is about freedom. Speak your passion aloud and defend those whom you love in word and deed. I feel like somebody wants to do this with you. And when we see the wild horse, uh, you do represent the horse Sagittarius, uh, you know, and Sagittarius does represent passion. All the fire uh, element is about passion, inspiration, fire, heat. Uh, right? Passion is heat, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's body heat. It is. Yeah. Let's see what else we have with these cards. And we have dream. Life can be a dream come true. And here's this woman. It's a 32. This is a number five, which is a challenging chapter that closes. Yeah, it is. And uh, life can be a dream come true. And she's swimming here. Uh, the fact that she's in the water and we see the moon, this is definitely trusting your intuition, right? The moon is about that, as is the water, the water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is about, it can be about dreaming, especially uh, uh, all of them, but because they are, are of basically the psychic realm, right? Our intuition is of the psychic realm. Our feelings are all about the higher vibration, uh, which is love, but it's also 
uh, be, it can be being psychic when you're in your higher vibration and there is self-love and compassion uh the possibilities open up and you may be definitely psychic very intuitive uh but only if there is love self-love because it is the highest vibration yeah and we have self-love here i feel like we do we have romantic love sagittarius and we have we have the kind of love that that you know lives in the bedroom yeah i feel like it does and rescue help another to help yourself okay so uh that's kind of interesting there and maybe you need to be rescued maybe somebody left you out here they could have and now if they come back and they kind of rescue you they're helping themselves there's a realization here there's all there's this wisdom and a powerful realization going on in this reading sagittarius and if you would like your own psychic reading you may get one i am a silver grad and we we're accurate yeah we've been trained we have right uh-huh and uh mm -hmm. we do a tarot spread at the end so uh, you have two different unique insights and uh it can be for insight and guidance in your own life and it can be about a lover a friend family member or somebody you don't know well definitely can read their energy so let's get into this here sagittarius and everything else all my other services are below if you would like your natal chart interpreted yes it's an interpretation it is uh it is uh, for your true life potential uh right so let me know let's get into this sagittarius and today we're using the Connolly deck and we have the mm -hmm, the six of pentacles reversed the ten of swords right and this is releasing something here releasing some type of trouble or betrayal could be because the ten swords are out of her the knight of wands the two of swords eight of pentacles mm -hmm. so let's see what we have we have the three of cups uh, we have the ten i beg your pardon and the ten of cups is the happily ever after that is why in this reading this couple is kind of gawking at each other right they are and uh we see the child sitting on the rainbow and the ten cups are here uh, and the red sun behind it was just, uh, a lot of passion, uh, definitely. And Knight of Cups. Materialism. Wow. And this uh, man is chained. Materialism. He really is, uh, for sure. And so, mm -hmm. wow. Wow. Let's move this card down. Uh, let's move this down just a little bit here. And the overall energy in the reading is the Six of Pentacles reversed. And so let's have a look at that. And we see in this reading uh, some type of recognition. I feel like we do. And so she is kind of grabbing his... She's with him. They're together. And she's uh, happy. She's recognizing him as somebody important to her for sure. And somebody may be recognizing you they could and uh let's have a look at that six of pentacles reversed in this deck it's different yeah this deck's different and so we have a happy atmosphere in the reverse unsatisfactory situation regarding the distribution of money business and estate and so on yeah these are pentacles right so somebody looks like they're getting a divorce or they're splitting assets here wow look at that this is why i like this deck sometimes because it gets kind of gets to it uh but you know this could be somebody who or this could be this energy sagittarius of maybe somebody selling their business uh or they have to pay a lot of money it could even be child support could be right uh but there's uh well that's not an unsatisfactory situation but not paying for the child but maybe a breakup could be unsatisfactory situation regarding the distribution of money business or an estate we have the ten of swords uh next to it yeah we do and so the ten of swords are out of her uh this pretty woman wearing this uh really nice uh purple dress uh and this is extreme unhappiness depression and a sense of loss allow new energy to transform you uh, change is imminent so here we have change but there's some really unhappiness and somebody's breaking up their money this definitely looks like a breakup to me the ten of swords all the tens are completions and the knight of wands is showing up and that may be you sagittarius and uh let's have a look at the knight of wands a uh, young man can create vibrations that will call for sudden decisions or change in life 
Somebody makes a decision here and it changes their reality. I was just talking to somebody about that, right? Every time you decide something, you change your reality. So that's how it is. And I know we have to think about that sometimes, right? Yeah, me included, uh, you know, a little bit. Uh, at least the first time I said it, right? Let's see what why this challenge is unhappiness. Page of Wands and uh, yeah, there's a message here that somebody... I feel like has left an unhappy relationship. Hold on one second, you guys. And so, yeah, let's look. The Page of Wands is a messenger. Yeah, we're going to leave it right there. And here he is. Somebody's coming to tell you that they left a situation. That's how it looks, Sagittarius. Wow. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because somebody made a sudden decision or, or a change in their life. Yeah, this is a 10, right? For sure, it's an ending of sorts, a completion. Uh, and the Knight of Wands has decided the Two of Swords, it's in the, in the, in the past, Sagittarius. Uh, the Two of Swords, and you don't know what to do. Yeah, it's like a stalemate. Uh, choice is six of one, half dozen or another. All right, so they're making a point. Grasp your sword of individuality and march to the beat of your own drum. Uh, this is in the past. Somebody decided this in the past, right? The Two of Swords is a decision uh, in the context of this reading. And we see it over here where the Knight of Wands decides, uh, he makes a decision to change his life. Uh, and the Eight of Pentacles is here, and this is the mindset, and this is... Uh, a beautiful card. Yeah, it is. Strong character. You're as stable as you prepare for the future. You are stable as you prepare. Past experience can serve you well. So this is somebody who, uh, this is you or your person, Sagittarius. Uh, and, you know, there's some money being uh, kind of divvied up here. But this talks about stability, financial stability. And we'll get a card for it. And this is uh, the five of swords. And that's a kind of a trip uh, card it is. And we see... Uh, this man here and he's praying and the younger man uh, who looks like he is kind of of the clergy you know we can't really tell but he's holding the sword that is gleaming this is the sword of power yeah there's no other way to uh, look at that and so a lack of sensitivity wow interest is that the it is the five of swords interest only in self-gain drop old ideas so this is somebody interesting here and uh this man's praying here this is about dropping old ideas uh and somebody's very stable here financially i feel like somebody was might have been cheap with you somebody may have been like stingy or they were with somebody else and they were kind of dealing just kind of holding on to their money they could have been here this is there's a lot of money in this reading with this ten of swords uh i'm rather the six of pentacles Reverse, which talks about uh, divvying up money. Here's the happily ever after, the Ten of Cups. This is in the near future. What, uh, what, what a better place. No better place for this card to sit. No, there's not. The Emperor sits here. He takes control of his life. This is the concern, Sagittarius. It is. We'll get a card with the Emperor. And he sits with his opulence. He really does. He's got these jewels all over. Ace of Swords uh, showing up with it. And so... The seeds of success and triumph are taking root. Yeah, they are. And uh, this is with the emperor who takes control of his life. This is the concern. I want my uh, roots to grow. I want fertility. Yes. And uh, very nice there. Mm -hmm. The seeds of success and triumph are taking root. This is the concern. Yeah. And somebody has... Somebody has done whatever they need here to have success in their life because you're the they're there happily ever after right here, Sagittarius. The Knight of Cups, here he's coming with camellias, very beautiful. Maybe they're roses, they look like camellias. Uh, here he is, the Knight of Cups. Uh, and this is, a young man can offer interesting invitations or proposals. This is, uh, this is in the environment where somebody's going to propose to you here. Yeah, they are, Sagittarius. You better start, uh, learn how to cook, Sagittarius. Just kidding, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding, excuse me. Man or woman, right? Yeah, we always want to cook for our people, don't we? For our partner. 
Uh, I know I do. And so somebody looks like they're going to propose to you here because you're there happily ever after. And they have closed out another cycle up here. Some, some cycle that was unhappy. And they're coming to tell you because here's the page of wands with that unhappy, unhappy, this is in the challenge. So maybe this person thinks you're hard to, to, to talk to. Maybe, you know, who, this looks like it could have been, I don't know, a while ago. Maybe you've grown and changed here. Open your heart. They may want you to open your heart. We have that card and we have, uh, activating your higher self. And, you know, maybe the person wants you to do that, but I feel like they've done that. Whoever's coming to propose knows exactly what they want and they've made a decision uh, because they might be doing that and they want to release the past. There is kind of a crack. Uh, very interesting. This is, it's kind of, uh, um, what was I going to call this? It, it looks like the heart up here is there's a crack between these two people. And so releasing the past, this person wants you to release the past. Yeah. And we have the materialism card. This is, uh, this looks like, you know, Here's the man being chained and he looks, yeah, he looks a little bit like Jesus here. I do have to say that. And he's being chained as, you know, Jesus was nailed, right? But they're making a point here that, uh, you know, with this card, this man is chained to materialism. Uh, yeah. And this is actually the devil it is. And they have, uh, the man who looks like a very nice man though. He's changed to the four elements. So, uh, materialism and the rainbow, she has the rainbow and she's free. She's not being chained. Somebody, this person loves you and they are, uh, they could be letting go of some type of materialism that has chained them. They might've been in a relationship where there was money, right? Convenience transition. Uh, and this definitely, this is the death card here. Uh, very interesting. And it talks about an ending. Uh, it sure does the death card, but it talks about transformation is underway and they call it a transition. The transition known as a death card is complete transformation representing a total change on your life path. So we see a decision changing somebody's life. And we see here, uh, changing your path. We do, uh, it is here with materialism, which is release yourself. This is completely where somebody was on their own, on a path and they completely left it. They did. We have, uh, the two of cups now and the happy couple is there, Sagittarius. This is in the potential outcome. And in this reading, it looks like it's a, an actual outcome, doesn't it? But we're going to leave this reading here. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's like wonderful. It's beautiful. Yeah. This is a very touching um, somebody wants your forgiveness, I believe. Maybe it's you who wants, right? Um, but this person is, by returning to you, possibly, they may be really feeling like they're helping themselves. Maybe you guys, uh, it looks like two people are, are want to be together here, but they kind of, maybe they mistreated one another, maybe. Or they kind of left you behind, or you did this. Or there's some type of understanding here that I'm going to be different. There's something like that. We're going to end this reading. Thanks so much for joining me, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell in order to receive uh, my notifications. Yeah, and get your psychic reading. All right, you guys. Thanks so much.